Okay, Tony Leverett, the Director of Promise Neighborhood. Say, say no more, say no more, okay. Tony Leverett directs and coordinates the full implementation of the Department of, of Education's Promise Neighborhood Grant. He's responsible for fostering and managing relationships between the collaborating partners and the resident-led advisory council, as well as the San Antonio community. His work with Promise Neighborhood unites institutional and residential stakeholders to leverage and strengthen community assets and resources so that children and families will be inspired to succeed. So let's give it up for Tony Leverett. Good evening. Um, hard act to follow, David. And uh, what I'm going to try to uh, have a couple of things I want to share with everyone. I hope that everyone's had enough to drink. So whatever I say will sound good to you. <laughs> Tech support, I guess I follow this and just hit the uh, space bar, right? OK. Well, you've heard a little bit about me, so uh, we'll get started here. For the next six minutes, I'm gonna to try to highlight the who's, what, where's, when's, and how's. But the first question is, what is a poocha kitcha, or whatever the word is. When I first heard that, I said peach cobbler, Pepe Le Pew, well, well, well I'm no expert, but I'm gonna to try to share with you, and, how, and the most important thing is how to get to the east side. Well, I was born in, uh, or my family was raised in Augusta, Georgia. We moved to Detroit, Michigan, uh, the Motor City, Motown, if you want to refer to it, on a cold fall day in November. Um, I uh, originally being from Detroit, so if anyone says that they're cold, they're crazy. They don't know what's going on. You can see me, a picture of me. That's not me in the middle, but there's a picture of someone cold. As you can see here, I was a sharp little fella, always pointing to the east back to the east side. I've always worn bow ties for a long time, so this bow tie thing is nothing new to me. And I did have hair at one time. So you can uh, see that I've always wanted to point to the top and get to the top. As you can see here in the pictures, uh, I was a pretty good athlete. I went on and uh, very active in school, uh, got a scholarship to go to Lincoln University in Jefferson City, Missouri. Uh, there, played football, was very good at it. As you can see the guy in the picture there, he thought I was very good. Uh, but a knee injury uh, sidelined me to my fame and fortune in football. So, but the one happy thing happened for me, greatest thing, was me and the love of my life, A. Sheree Holmes Leverett. She's originally from Kansas City. That's my baby down there. Uh, the uh, World Series champions of 2015 Kansas City. And they have great barbecue, but I know some of you folks there won't agree with that, but that's another Pecha Kucha presentation later. <laughs> These are the two sons that I am very proud of. We are my son Ashton, who's in the audience, and my son Tony, who is an artist. My son Ashton is a drummer, so if you're looking for a drummer for your band, just let me know. We can talk after this. Uh, very proud that they have found their passion, and if you talk to me long enough, you know that I love my family, I love my wife, and I love my kids. Served in the Air Force for 21 years, six months, five days, but I wasn't counting. I just enjoyed serving my country. And after I served for those 21 years, uh, retired, we were in England, East England. There's that East thing again. But uh, was, uh, got out of the Air Force and was offered a position with uh, the United Way where I moved, uh, helping people within the community. Now, not more about, not about me, but this is about, not about me, but it's about we, a community, uh, our city. I know it's spelled like this, but what we're here to talk about is how what I'm doing connects with SA 2020. So let's move on. <clears throat> time, time. Now, this all started by a leadership of a man named Castro, not the one on the right, not the one on the left, but the one on the right. He set up opportunities for a community to come together, talk about what they thought this city should look like. So through his leadership, we talked about what our city should look like and have a vision for it and creating a plan for that particular city. This is my visual of how our uh, SA 2020 vision looks like. It's an umbrella that covers the city and all the 11 areas, everything from technology, from schools, education, to improve it, to make sure that we are a city that people want to come to. Now, as we moved on, there was a, once upon a time, there was a lady named Ivy who was leading the efforts on the east side and helped facilitate, look for funding to connect the east side and what we were trying to achieve with the city. But as time went on, she was very successful in helping us lead this initiative. She moved into the mayor's uh, seat. So we know that she understands what we're trying to accomplish. 
Promise Neighborhood is an initiative through the Department of Education that really focus ends on the educational success of our children in our community. It's uh, focused or it's, um, actually replicate what uh, Jeffrey Canada did in New York. The mayor was excited about what was happening there and thought that we could duplicate the same thing here in some other cities. He talked about letters of opportunity and success for people and it should not, a child or a person's success should not be determined by their zip code. We have those letters of opportunity for a person to lift themselves up and move on to success. And this is the way we should look at our city here in San Antonio. Let's look at the big, big picture. The big picture is just what David said. We are a 21st century city looking at to make it attractive to other people to come here. The ideal and the vision of this city is not about the east side, but it's about the entire city itself. We have to look at the big picture, not just our soul communities, but the entire city for what it is. These are the faces of the future. And Kylie, I would, would like to put her face in there. This is the future, and we have to set the, set the stage for success for our children for them to lead because they are the you and me of tomorrow. Timing, wait for it. Now, George Jefferson was my hero. He was a strong business owner who really believed in, in hard work and taking advantage of opportunities to lift himself and his family up and he moved to the east side. If you get the opportunity, listen to the song. It lays out the plan for, for San Antonio. It talks about stepping up to the plate. Now, you've probably heard in the recent weeks that Patty LaBelle needs sweet potato pies. We're getting our piece of the pie. The piece of the pies have been served on the east side through the Promise Zone, East Point, and the Choice Initiatives. And the slices are in place, not only for the east side, but they're starting there and can be spread out through the rest of the city. The mayor just got through talking about being a big league city. Big league cities are more than just airports, baseball teams, but it's about the people and establishing uh, situations and opportunities for all of our people to succeed because if one person succeeds, the next person should succeed. So we have an opportunity and we're up to bat. Now, I know you're standing there looking at me going, I've seen that guy somewhere before. I'm not an actor, but I am a hero who tries to use my enthusiasm and my energy to help in our initiative to move our neighborhoods and our community to the next level. Now, you also probably wonder, how did he get picked to present? Well, it goes back to that one lady who has five dogs, has such enthusiasm, and recently was tagged to lead our next five years for the 20, uh, SA 2020 initiative. And you know something? She keeps babbling about cheese. So with that, thank you very much. Tony, Tony, give it up for Tony. She's very, uh, so inspiring. I just, I want to reach for my wallet and hand him my, here, take it out of this. Um, so... So did you just kind of drift into this leadership role or did you, did you work your way up or did you wake up one morning and say, hey, I can do this? Uh, kind of all three. Okay, so, if there's, so is there one thing like when you're driving around the east side, is there, is there like one or two or three things that you say to yourself, if, if I could wave a magic wand and have this done today, I would like, this would be like a major step in the right direction. Is it? Say it again? Something, something, for example, like education. Education is right. <laughs> education is key because I think it provides opportunities for, uh, I think the mayor said, in reading books or for individuals to lift themselves up to go anywhere they want. We talk about the tech industry, if they want to go that route, if they want to travel, if they want to be a leader of the city. The education provides them opportunity to do just that. Okay. But is there anything like, uh, is there any like physical things that you could just, like a, a building or a, or, or a bridge or a freeway? Wait, <laughs> this, is, this is an open forum here. That's the Shout out whatever that's the you want, whatever you want. That's the oh, that's, oh, okay. Dick, Dick, Dick They're with me too, so, okay. they're with me. Oh. No, I, I think um, this is just not about the east side. We, as we stand here, or we're here tonight, we're talking about SA 2020, a vision for the entire city. Right. Uh, it just so happens that I work on the east side, and there are a number of times I do see things that could change, but that vision that I have for the east side is really for our entire city, uh -huh. that we can create an environment or a city 
that we have the young texters or we have the young entrepreneurs or we have the young artists who are inspired or excited about coming to a city like San Antonio because I think it has a, a lot of great opportunities. As you've heard with a lot of presenters, we're not from here. We're transplants to San Antonio. Right. But I was told after double digit years of, of being here, you're San Antonio. So wow. I just think that we have great opportunities for here in San Antonio. Excellent, excellent. Well, this has been a very inspiring Petra Kucha. I, I gave a presentation a few years ago, and there were like, like 12 people showed up, and eight of them thought it was an AA meeting. So it, it's really grown since then, and it really is impressive now. So you ought to give yourselves a big round of applause. It just keeps getting better and better.